On June 24, 2021, the Champlain Tower South condo in Surfside, Florida collapsed, taking nearly 100 lives in a tragedy that stunned the nation. But here is a harsh truth that wasn't just random disaster, it didn't have to happen. What if I told you that this collapse could have been avoided? What if just one key step could have saved lives? Stay with me until the end of this video because we're not just talking about what went wrong, we're talking about what could have saved those lives. Hey everyone, welcome back. I am an instructional engineer with 12 plus years of experience. Today, we're diving into one of the most heartbreaking yet preventable engineering failures of our time, the Champlain Towers collapse. We'll talk about exactly what caused the disaster, what warning signs were, and how temporary shoring a simple engineering solution could have changed everything. Make sure to stick around because the lessons from this tragedy might just save lives in the future. What happened in Champlain Towers? Towers. Let's rewind a little bit. Champlain Towers was a 12-story condo building with generous oceanfront views. It looked perfect on the outside, but underneath it was hiding some pretty serious structural problems. In 2018, an engineering report revealed that the concrete slab underneath the pool deck was crumbling. Water had been seeping in for years, corroding the steel reinforcement, also known as rebar, inside the concrete. And when steel corrodes, it expands, cracking the concrete even more. Think of it like rust eating away at the bones of a building. It starts small, but over time, it weakens the entire structure. By 2021, the damage was critical. Engineers warned the HOA that urgent repairs are needed and absolutely necessary. What is temporary shoring and why was it so critical? All right, let's break this down. Imagine your car starts making a weird noise. Instead of fixing it, you keep driving, hoping it will go away. What happens? Eventually, the engine blows. That's exactly what happened here. Temporary shoring is essentially a steel or wood supports placed underneath the damaged structure to redistribute the load. Temporary shoring is like putting crutches underneath a broken leg. It holds everything up while you make the necessary repairs. But those crutches, they never happened. For Champlain Towers, this could have stabilized the pool deck and garage slab by buying engineers time to make permanent repairs. Without it, the cracks spread and the entire system started to fail. Why didn't they do it? So, why wasn't shoring installed? It comes down to money. The HOA was already facing mounting repair costs and temporary shoring wasn't cheap. Instead of prioritizing safety, they decided to delay. They were already behind on their 30-year inspection and the cracks kept spreading. It's like trying to save a few bucks on an oil change, only to end up with a totaled car engine. But here is the heartbreaking part. This wasn't just about money, it was about lives. How temporary shoring could have prevented the collapse? Let's get into the specifics. The slab underneath the pool deck was critical to the building's overall stability. Without temporary shoring, the load from the structure above was pressing down on that weakened slab and beam structure. If temporary shoring had been installed, the weight would have been redistributed into the shoring posts down to the slab. That means no additional stress on the damaged slab and giving engineers time to fix the rebar and concrete. It's not a perfect solution, but it's a life saving one. But instead, what happened, beams and slabs sheared off the columns and they collapsed, triggering a progressive collapse of the building above. Here is the part you need to hear. The collapse didn't happen overnight. Those cracks and leaks were warnings. Temporary shoring could have held the building together long enough to prevent a tragedy. So what could have saved lives? It's simple. One, acting on engineering reports. When professionals warn you about structural damage, don't wait. Delays cost lives. Number two, installing temporary shoring. This would have stabilized the building and prevented the cracks from spreading further and causing a brittle failure. Number three, prioritizing safety over costs. Cutting corners on repairs is never worth the risk. This wasn't an unavoidable tragedy. It was a failure to act and the cost of that failure nearly 100 lives. The 
Champlain Towers collapse wasn't just a structural failure, it was a failure to prioritize safety. But we can learn from it. We can demand regular inspections, act on warnings, and invest in temporary measures that save lives. If you've learned something today, please share this video. It's about preventing the next tragedy. Thanks for watching. If you're fascinated by engineering failures and how we can improve that, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And tell me in the comments, what else could the building owner, HOA, or building officials and engineers have done differently to prevent this tragedy?